everyone, Maurice and welcome to Tanks Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional development. For today's video, entertainment versus only, the investments we're going to talk about today would be Bitcoin, ticker BTC. With respect to my Ethereum video earlier today, we've been experiencing some sort of like a sell-off across the cryptocurrencies market today. And Bitcoin as of right now at about 4.45 p.m. on the East Coast in the U.S. is down about 7.45% at the moment, right? So was this really a more of a sell-off that we're seeing right now? Or is this more like a psychological play that we're seeing across the market right now? What is this really going on right now? Are we going to see more of a sell-off? Are we going to see more of an upside going forward in the near future? So I'm going to go through the psychological resistance level that we have in front of us in the chart. And also going to look at some of the resistance level we should be looking out for in case you want to be buying into for the first time. Or for the dollar cost average and my price target for year end 2021 as well. So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. So moving on to the technical analysis for Bitcoin. And as you can see right now, take a look at it on the daily perspective. Uh, look at the recent day perspective as well. You can see that um, ever since that dip, we were trading around like a $30,000 level and subsequently rise back up to this first level of resistance level of the $40,000 level. However, with respect to this level, um, knowing the fact that the 40K is a relatively strong psychological resistance level that we have tested multiple times here. However, the, res the substantiveness of this resistance level of the 40,000 was relatively weak, as you can see here, right? You can see that we test this once, we test this twice, and then, then the three times right here. However, the time gap in between was relatively vast, right? Which subsequently kind of dilutes the substantiveness of the consolidation with form, right? And ever since then, we dropped from the 40K all the way down to at one point, um, you know, I would say around like the May 21st to the $33,000 level and subsequent to that, uh, even more of a drastic sell-off on the May 23rd, which if you recall, that was on a Sunday. Remember, that was like a flash crash that we had in the market, right? Which was a great day for you to buy, but also a bad day if you were a Coinbase holder. We subsequently dropped all the way to this level. And immediately because of the fact that we were so stretched off, you know, with respect to the MACD that you see, you know, with respect to how you compare with the alignments that we have had historically, that the line was so relatively stretched in separation compared to MACD with the signal line, that subsequently immediately got bought up across the market, right? And that was triggered by a lot of the Argo trade with respect to a computer system trade. And also obviously with respect to just, you know, investors like you and I buying it up, knowing the fact that it dipped so low that, you know, it was just the right thing to do overall, right? And that's how you create a subsequent green candle here. And subsequent to the green candle, we saw like another elevator green candle and eventually testing back up at the $40,000 level, which was, again, a weak substantive resistance level that we've had uh, that subsequently reversed it back down. And ever since then, we were hovering around like the $37,000 level, right, which was something that we were testing yesterday for a, a long duration of times, right, at least a 12 hours duration, right? And subsequent to that, because of the fact that we broke through that resistance level and the $37,000 level was a relatively weak in a substantive level perspective, that we dropped down back into another level down to the secondary resistance level about like the $35,000 level, which we have tested uh, several times here. One, two, and then three, four, five, six times here, right? And we're still trending downward a little bit more. Um, and I foresee us to be going back down a little bit more slightly down to like the $34,000 level, which would be the uh, first level if you were to think about buying for the first time or for the dollar cost average. I think the $34,000 level is a fair level to buy in, uh, knowing the fact that that's a relatively strong resistance level that we have had so far, right? And if you're even more of a risk averse individual or an investor, that prefer less risk profile, I think going down to the $31,000 level, that's uh, possible, but I think the likelihood of that doing so would be more like a 50-50 chance right now. You can see that the, the reason I say this is because the 
substantiveness of the consolidation at the $34,000, dollars level is relatively strong, right? You can see that with Tesla's six, seven times here, right? Obviously, in comparison to the $31,000 or the $30,000, which is a mental psychological resistance level, any flat numbers oftentimes a mental psychological blockage. And also on top of that, you can see that, you know, we've tested multiple times, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times that we're about to see, which you know, if we get down there to that level, I think that would be beautiful, you know. But the likelihood of us getting back down to the thirty thousand dollars level would be, you know, unlikely because that will again create another abnormality into the chart which will subsequently make an even larger separation between the two lines. And on top of that, the RSI is already highly submerged into the bottom of the ocean right now. We are basically touch touching the bottom of the ocean right now. And the submarine needs to go back up into the, into the top of the ocean to get gas, right? So I think the inertia and the pressurization at the bottom is already really baked in at the moment. So I think we might go down a little bit more by the $34,000 and then we'll subsequently rebound. And we'll see how that rebound goes from here. And I think we should be getting some more of a reversal sometimes during this weekend. I think the like of us like going back down even more to the $31,000 will be unlikely again, right? But if we do, you know, I'll be the first one to buy in again, right? To at these levels because these are pretty cheap levels to buy in, right? And if we break down even more because of some really exogenous negative affectation um, news across the publications or, you know, something just exogenous factor happening like a black swan event, we might even go down all the way to the $24,000 level, right? But that's, again, right, very unlikely knowing the fact, again, right, the MACD is already crossing upward, you know, and we have already had that one-time black swan occurrence already, which is, you can see, it kind of stretched out the line completely. Then also on top of that, you cannot go further down below the ocean, right? Where you're gonna go to the earth crust, right? That doesn't make any sense anymore, right? So it will rebound soon, and I think the rebound will be relatively good. But I think the rebound right now will be quite minimal because I think we're still kind of forming more of a consolidation base right now, which is what I see that's currently happening right now. So I think we'll just be kind of bouncing up and down around these walls here, right? The 34, 40, 34. 40, 34, 40 going forward. Contingent on more positive news media affectation going forward that will subsequently propel um, and on top of more utilization and adoption across the corporate investors that are the market drivers for the supply and volume uh, in a demand perspective that will subsequently drive up the price for Bitcoin upward from there. All right, so just to recap on all the numbers that we just talked about in our technical analysis, I think currently the, the level that we are expecting to go down even more would be the $34,500 level, which I would, you know, personally buy into, you know, you know, just to maybe start allocating 10% of my cash balance to begin building my position from there or further dollar cost average. And I think the likelihood of like going down to like the $30,000 level would be very unlikely. I would give this more be like a 40% chance of doing so because of the fact how the MACD and the RSI line is already set up this way. Uh, and we are kind of curling upward already. And also on top of that, today's a Friday, right? Like I mentioned in my Ethereum video, right? People typically want to have that secure mentality going into a vacation, going to a weekend. So people are liquidating because it's a Friday just for the sake of it's a Friday, so they don't have to worry about the cash fluctuations or their, the, the price fluctuations during the weekend. And they can just like go back to work on, you know, obviously on the Tuesday, which is when the market opens again. But obviously cryptocurrencies market doesn't really close, right? It's a ongoing commodity market that gets traded on a 24 hour, seven days a week basis, right? But it's more again, right, it's a psychological play um, in, in terms of how people wants to feel more secure in a in a in a mental way so nothing really you know that you can do about that you know but that's a great opportunity for you to capture if that's really the case right we go down all the way to thirty thousand dollars level and if we even get down to like the twenty four thousand dollars level which i think i give that maybe a two percent likelihood of us doing so 
because if we get down to a twenty four thousand dollars like during during this weekend, that means that chart will be completely against all logics and physics and scientifics. <laughs> So twenty four thousand will be very unlikely, and I think I will be super shocked if we get there. And if we get there, I'm probably gonna sell my house um to buy Bitcoin, <laughs> but very unlikely again, right? Let's think logically based on the charts that we see in front of us, right? That doesn't make any sense at all. But I'm just gonna call it out here. If that gets there, that's a steel level, obviously. And if we get down, you know, to all the way there, um, you know, if you're buying at this level, $34,000 level with the 12 months target about $95,000 level, that will give you 175% of an upside close to three times your money from here. All right. So that's it for today with respect to my technical analysis on Bitcoin. Uh, again, this is really, um, you know, nothing really to majorly worry about. I think we're just consolidating at the moment. We're just trading sideways. And with respect to the sell-off, it's really just the effects that we have psychologically with respect to uh, like a Friday coming up, um, you know, uh, a weekend coming up, I mean, uh, and also like this long duration of a weekend of three days weekend in US. Uh, people just want to have more security in mind. Uh, and also on top of that, we just kind of consolidated a cyber right now with like a fairly substantive consolidated platform that we're bouncing off of up and down, right? Again, like the $35,000, $34,000 level to all the way to the $40,000 level, right? So just kind of hovering up and down, up and down right now, pending on obviously more positive media affectation on propelling the supply and demand dynamics of the price point for Bitcoin going forward. So I would say, you know, we're pretty much training according to plan with nothing really major to worry about. Again, if we sell down even more to those levels that I talked about, I'll just be buying more, you know? So I'm very... Um, and t I, 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 I'm actually excited for it. If we actually get there, it means the risk level actually decreases as the price goes down. And I will just buy more if you believe in the macroeconomical trends going forward, right? So that's it for today. Uh, hopefully you guys take this, uh, you know, with this, uh, you know, uh, a peace of mind for you going forward. Um, and again, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, also the bell notification bell. And please watch out for the next video coming up. Have a great weekend. Bye.